I think no. like intimate. Do girls like to be approached in public? Yes. The worst thing they're gonna say is no. Just move on, go to the next girl. What has been your experience on dating apps overall? Zero. Online, it's like you know you're there to hook up. I don't like the new style of social media. Is being called hot, does that not make you feel good? Yeah, like it's like being called bad. Hey baby, come here. If a girl is looking at you, what does that mean? Oh, don't talk to me. She thinks you're cute. Have you ever approached someone? When was the last time someone approached you in public? Right you now. would think it's Yes, great. you were guys. Dating apps are quickly dying. The number of people downloading apps like Tinder or Bumble is down by over 30%, and their stock price has been consistently declining for the last few years. Yet, despite this, 55% of men have never approached a girl in person. Yet, more than 74% of women wish that they were approached more. Seeing all this data, it became obvious to me that being able to meet women in person through cold approach is a modern day superpower, but I wanted to see for myself. So I decided to hit the streets and see if these stats hold up in the real world. To up the stakes even more, I decided to go out and do a real life approach for myself. So stick around to the end to see if my approach was successful and if this statistic holds up in the real world. Do girls like to be approached in public? Yes. I'd say yes, but like not in a cat call way. It really depends on how you approach them. Yes. I would say yes. It depends how you do it. I also feel like it depends on the day. Depends which way. Like yes, if it's nice. Do you prefer to meet a guy in person or on dating apps? In person. In person, 100%. Oh, in person. In person. Yeah. in person. I feel like I'd prefer in person. I've never I've never used a dating app. Never. Why? Why have you never used a dating app? I just feel like it's kind of down bad. Like you really want to be out there to get find females and stuff like that when you can just go out in public and talk to them, have normal conversations with a girl you find, you know? In person, 100%. Why in person? I think dating apps are cringy. What has your experience been on dating apps if you've ever used one? They've been fine, but like I just think organically is a lot easier because you know what you're getting into and like you're not gonna just like have to have small talk online and you're just like it's more natural. Why in person? Um, I just feel like it's more natural. You can see them for who they are. The chemistry is there. In a dating app you can see pictures. It's not intimate, right? If you meet someone in person it's more intimate. You can catch like their vibe. I don't know how to explain it but you could in person it's better. What has been your experience on dating apps overall? Like how would you rate it one to ten? Zero. <laughs> Oh, why? Why is zero? I just don't feel like it's personal. When you connect with someone cool, their pictures look good. But conversation stuff, I don't because I don't know them. It's not a connection. Like I have to see someone, know how they look, and know how uh, how we like mesh. Why in person versus dating apps? I feel like because like I don't know. I feel like we're both very like vibe drawn, and so it's like in person you get a vibe from someone like immediately, whether you like ask for it or not. Like I get a vibe from you, you know. It's like I get a vibe from her. I get. Is it positive or negative? Your vibe is great. But it's like sometimes like somebody will come up and I'm like, mm -hmm, you're not really giving them the best vibe. Or like if I'm being like kind of closed off and they like won't take the hint. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm like kind of turning my shoulder to you. Why are you not backing away? I also think that when you're online, I feel like you kind of all know the underlying intention, you know? So it's like in person, it's a bit more innocent. It's a bit more like open. It's a bit more friendly. It's a bit more like fun, flirty, who knows? But it's like online, it's like you know you're there to hook up, you're there to date, you're there to do whatever you're trying to do, but it's like there's more like you narrow off less of those like open people, I think, you yeah. know? What's the best way to approach a girl in public? Like go up to her, like, hey, how's your day going? Like, what's your name? You look very gorgeous today. Just normal. I like the old style. I don't like the new style of social media. What would be the way that you would recommend to approach them? Be like, hey, I think you're really beautiful. Like, what's your number? Like, I'd love to get your number or something like that. But just like less cat call. Beautiful, not hot. Yeah, pretty beautiful, something yeah. nice. Is being called hot, does that not make you feel good? Yeah, like it's like being called bad. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. Bad is pretty cringe. What do you think is the correct way to approach a girl in public? Just like the way she said, and then you look really beautiful today, can I get your number? I don't know, I guess like, just not creepy. Just don't like straight up come up to someone and be like, um, it has to be something polite. Mm -hmm. Something like very subtle. You could cr compliment her. I don't know, like I like your shoes, I like your jeans, I like your, I don't know, something. That that is not like very sexual or like just based. Yeah, exactly. What is the correct way to approach a girl in public? I don't have an answer because all approaches weird me out. I would say they have to be respectful about it. They can't come across in like a creepy, aggressive way. What would be like a creepy or an aggressive or disrespectful way of doing it? I feel like maybe like immediately coming for your appearance, you know, like, oh, like, ni like nice 
That's actually not a good example well, because if someone complimented my jeans, I'd be pretty happy. But like, you do have nice jeans. But right? thank you. No, but these are nice jeans, you know. And I know that these are nice jeans, so I appreciate that comment. But if I was wearing like a little skirt, like a little black skirt, and then like he was like, "Oh, nice skirt," and it was just like nothing special, you know, I'd be like, "Why are you coming with a nice skirt?" You feel like it would be kind of like a little too sexual yeah, for a yeah, stranger, thing, yeah. you know? Or like, I don't like that the cat calling's not it. We can't be doing that in this day and age. Like if you approach them with a general conversation and they'd be like, oh, okay, I like your outfit. Like something, I like your outfit, I like your hair, or something like that. It's like more, it has to be more friendly at first because as a girl, we don't look at men and like, oh, we want that, right? You know, like we have to get to know them and then we trust them and then it, a relationship forms. Hi, oh, hi, excuse me. Can I, can we just talk like for a few minutes? But no, like, hey, baby, come here. Like, you know? Does that happen to you a lot here in New York? Yeah, but the wrong way, yeah. you know, so I hate that. Why in person over a dating app? Because you're sure that in dating app, they can lie to you. I'm, I'm not sure if they didn't up. Yeah, okay. Have you had a positive experience on dating apps before? I never have had. Oh, you've never? No, done. no. Great. So how do you typically meet people? Honestly, I don't meet people. <laughs> That's the problem, actually. Uh, no, and I, since I'm here, I don't meet anybody. But in France, like, I used to meet people in the bars or out when I went out. And by the way, if you're a successful guy who struggles to confidently approach and meet women in your day-to-day -day life, then click the first link in the description and apply to work with me inside of my private coaching program. We can get you on one to three dates per week in the next 30 days using our easy three-step formula. So click below to apply. What would you say to a guy who sees a girl and he wants to start a conversation and maybe get to know her, but he's a little bit shy or introverted? I would tell them the worst thing that they can say is no, and it's either they say yes or you learn something. Just be respectful. Don't be weird and intimidating. Usually people are, n are not going to be like straight up mean towards you. So like I would tell them to just go for it. Obviously like in a respectful manner, not weird. I would say go for it, especially if you're at like a coffee shop or something. It's easier to kind of approach people and start a conversation. I feel like it depends on the context to make it creepy versus like not creepy. Okay, like the worst thing they're going to say is no. Just move on, go to the next girl. If a girl is looking at you, what does that mean? Um... <laughs> Like straight up staring at you? Yeah, like if you're walking down the street or you're in a coffee shop, like you said, and if a girl's looking at you, should a guy approach? I mean, I feel like if she's like like staring at you, then yeah, that could say something. Like it doesn't necessarily mean that she's like interested, but obviously like it opens more doors. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I don't know. I feel like you kind of know as a person. You sense if, the vibe. Yeah, you sense the vibe. <laughs> so it depends. If you're like, if she's just like looking at what you're wearing, like it's very different than like, oh, like I wish we could have a conversation. She thinks you're cute. Yeah, like if I'm gonna be looking at you and like I'm like doing it obvious, like I want your attention. I want you to come up to me for sure. So if a girl's looking at you, you should approach her. You should approach her. Yeah, that's a very clear sign that the girl wants you to talk to her. It could mean that they find you attractive, but it doesn't have to. Like maybe there's something about you that's like intriguing. So if a girl is looking at you, should you approach? Yeah, you could try it out. Like the worst that they can say is no, and like rejection isn't terrible. You know, like you can get rejected. If she's looking at you, I you think, should probably go. I think if, if she smiles, you should definitely go say hi. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, honestly, I think like the chances that like if you come up to me, I'm gonna like be pissed that you came up to me or like slim to none. I think boys are scared these days. Like, I feel like girls are gonna be aggressive about it and be like, oh, don't talk to me. But really, a lot of girls think that why aren't guys coming up to girls yeah. anymore these days? So that's a big thing. No guys come up to girls. I also just think it's like just like you should just shoot your shot like more girls i think believe that boys should come up to them than girls believe that girls should be the one making the move which as much as like which they can and they should if they're confident enough but like i i feel like most girls i don't think i would say i'm personally confident enough to like just go up to any guy and like even if i think that they're hot like to go up to them and be like hey i don't even know what i would say regardless if she's like looking at you or like you're yeah, like getting a vibe you know what just say hi just be like hey like do you need a drink or like whatever? I think that if you ask a girl if she needs a drink, if you She'll think that she's hot, she will say yes regardless. 
But with the answer, you will be able to catch a vibe, whether she's like, yes, you want to chat? Or like, yes, that's all I want. I'm going to go after. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, and if you, if you pay that. attention enough, though, like you can pick up on the clues that like she's just trying to get a free drink or she like wants, wants to, to drink and chat or she's open. Have you ever approached someone? We haven't. I don't think so. <laughs> we always say we will. Yeah. <laughs> but we haven't. Why don't girls ever approach first? I guess that it kind of depends on the girl, too. We have one friend socially yeah. that yeah. always approaches people. And like, it's it just depends, I think, on your personality too. I don't think I have the personality to just go approach anyone. I agree with that. <laughs> what do girls actually find attractive in guys? A lot, like I would say like being kind, nice to talk to, like ask questions, having like a good personality, yeah. Why do girls like when guys ask questions and take an interest in them? Because it makes that you feel like they actually care about you. Yeah. It's more genuine. And like, you can actually get close to someone by asking questions. Like if it's a one-sided conversation, you could never actually get close to them because they don't know anything about you. When was the last time someone approached you in public and they did it in a respectful way? Right you now, think this is Yes, great. you were yes. nice. Yes. interview. Someone actually just approached me recently. He was like, I just want to say you're really beautiful and like, I would love if you were willing to give me your number. And I was like, I really appreciate that, but I am not available. I am taken, but I appreciated that. that so you still really respected kind. the attempt. Yeah, and I still like, I'm like, I think about that. I'm like, that was really nice. After successfully interviewing the women on the street, it was time to put their advice to the test in a real life approach. Excuse me. Hi, what is your name? Ukrainian? No, German. <laughs> German, ah, oh, okay, I was close. Are you guys both German? Yeah. yeah. Are you just visiting? <laughs> I'm visiting her, yeah. She's my best friend. Oh, so you're here. I'm Benjamin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? You guys look very well dressed. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Both German then? Yeah. Yes. How long have you been here for? I came here last summer. And you never went back? You stayed? I stayed, and I want to stay. Okay. <laughs> why, why, why here over Germany? I've been to Germany a couple times, mostly just Frankfurt, though. Mm, so hard. Uh, yeah, I came here for my studies last year, so that's why. Finance? Marketing? Fine. I, I don't Finance. know. I'm trying to guess. That's the oh first. My God, that's crazy. I never got that. That's the first. We're your German, so Germans are always very logical. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. That's true. Uh, no, fashion, actually. Fashion, okay. Fashion marketing. Okay, so that would have been my at next guess. Yeah. 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 You know, I saw your outfit at first as so well. I was like, it's oh, market. wait. That's it makes sense. It's fine. I don't know. There's some well dressed finance people that here in New York. That's true. Yeah. Stylish yeah. finance people. Yeah. Well, has she shown you any good spots yet? Of course. Anywhere she goes. The best spots. <laughs> the best spots. Cool. <laughs> what part of the city do you live in? Pidei. Pidei? Okay. Yeah. Where in Germany are you guys from? Close Okay. Yeah, I'm familiar. I've been in that part of the world a lot. I go to Poland a lot. Poland? How come? Yeah. I do shooting competitions. Oh. Like pistol and, and there's a oh. big facility in Pol in Warsaw that I go to. Really? So I always fly through Germany. Shooting competition. Like, Shooting what's competition. What's that? Like I've never heard of. Like that. pistol, rifle. And then I, how how does it go? Like so based on how accurate you are and how fast your oh. time is, so that it's timed. Oh. Yeah. Is it like the type of shooting they do at the Olympics? Yes, similar. Yeah. A little a little similar, okay, but yeah, okay, okay. similar. Where do you like to go out? <laughs> Why, 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 why did you laugh and no, give me that look? Because she's the no, expert. Because we to. always get that question and we always have like the same, the same answer. answer. So that's why it's like funny because we always say the same. No, but we like to go to uh, the box, yeah. socialista, socialista. pause. The no. usual. Little sister. Little, uh, <laughs> that, that little sister is kind of a red flag. I knew, <laughs> I knew that you would say that. That's also what we're laughing I had no about. idea it is. No, it's fun, no, but like, after 2 a.m. No, it's dark and when, it's like... Whenever I say, like, little sister, you're like... Oh, shame But me. it also depends on, like... It's like, I know what you mean, in little sister. <laughs> cool. Well, I don't want to hold you guys up from your dinner. I have to go meet a friend. Uh, yeah, no, but it'd be cool to get your Instagram. Maybe we can hang out and chat more sometime. 
After 25 minutes of walking around, we were one for one today, one approach, one success. I think the big lesson from today is that if you put yourself out there, if you go up, you act normal, and you start a genuine, authentic conversation, you can have a lot more success than you think. Probably more success than you would on dating apps. Now, after coaching thousands of guys over the years, the biggest thing that holds them back from getting success like you just saw is number one, knowing what to say and being able to go up and say it confidently. And most importantly, number two, the accountability to actually go out and and execute it. And that's precisely why coaching is such an important aspect in this area of your life. Because when you're out and about and you have no one to hold you accountable, you're most likely not going to do anything. Now, if you want to see the full uncut breakdown of the interaction, you want to work with me personally to get successful interactions like you just saw, click the first link in the description to work with me inside of my private coaching program. And if you're a guy who's on a budget and just wants to learn the basics, then click the second link in the description to check out my three-step video showing you exactly how to start your first approach.